Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on reducing fractions. All right, um, when we're reducing fractions, one of the things that we need to pay attention to is prime numbers. And most of us pay attention to the prime numbers sort of intuitively, but sometimes it helps to just think about what we're actually looking at. Uh, first of all, a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself or one. And prime numbers help us to reduce fractions. Now, let's just look at these first few numbers here and determine which ones are prime numbers. Two is, when we multiply two numbers together to get two, they're two and one. So that's a prime number because the only thing 2 is divisible by is 2 and 1, okay? 3 is the same. The only way we can get 3 is taking 3 and multiplying it by 1. So 3 is also a prime number. 4, however, we can take 2 and multiply it by 2 to get 4. And of course, we know 2 is a prime number, so 2 times 1 2 times 1. So 4 is not a prime number. 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 5, the only way we get 5 is by taking 5 and multiply it by 1. So 5 is also a prime number. 6, we have 3 times 2 and 6 times 1. So it's not a prime number. 7 is a prime number. How about 8? Nope. 9? Nope. 3 times 3 and 9 times 1. 10 is not a prime number, but 11 is. And the next one is 13. Okay. Normally you only have to worry about 2, 3, 5, sometimes 7. All right. Um, but paying attention to the prime numbers really helps you when you're working through reducing. So let's just look at some of these um, fractions here. 18 divided by 22. Are they divisible by 2? Yeah. So we start with that, right? So we divide the top by 2 and we get 9. We divide the bottom by 2 and we get 11. 9 over 11. The 11 is a prime number, right? So at this point, we're finished. The only, we can only go as far as this, 9 over 11. 35 over 20. Obviously not divisible by 2. 20 is definitely not divisible by 3, but they're both divisible by 5, right? So we divide the 35 by 5 and we get 7. We divide the 20 by 5, and we get 4. Now this one, here we notice this is an even number. Here we have an odd number. So we know that this is not divisible by 2. This one is divisible by 2. How are we going to deal with this? The interesting thing about these two numbers is when you add them together, 7 plus 2 so 7 plus 2, actually I didn't mean the two numbers, I meant the two digits here. So we add the 7 and the 2, we get a 9. And with any number, if you add the digits and you get a number that's divisible by 3, then that number is divisible by 3. So 72 is divisible by 3. Not divisible by 2, not divisible by 5, not divisible by 7, <coughs> but divisible by 3. So we divide this by 3 and we get 24. We divide the 27 by 3 and we get 9. Now we can stop and look at this and think, well, you know, I'm not sure if it goes any further. But notice if you add the 2 and 4, you end up with a 6. So this then is also divisible by 3. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. 
9 divided by 3 is 3. So that's how you'd reduce that. And basically what you're looking at is the prime numbers as you reduce fractions. Okay, so let's try some here. 21 divided by 24. So thinking about our prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, maybe 7. Also noticing the numbers, what do they add up to? This number, when you add it together, 2 and 1 is a 3. 2 and 4 is a 6. So these numbers are both divisible by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Okay? 42 and 35. Now, these numbers actually you have to really be aware of your times tables. And it's the one step up here. It's 7. So both of these numbers are divisible by 7. And if we look at our times tables here, there is 7 all down the 7 line, 35 and 42. Okay? So both these numbers are divisible by 7. So divide this by 7 and we get a 6. Divide this by 7 and we get a 5. Twenty-five divided by thirty-seven point five. Now this one is a is a little bit different. We have a decimal number here, and usually when I'm working with with numbers like this, I just decide to get rid of the decimal. It, it makes it easier to work with. All right, especially if we're doing it by hand. So move the decimal out of here, and if you move it in the in the denominator, you have to also move the decimal in the numerator. So we move the decimal here and then we have to put a zero in. Right? So then this becomes 250 over 375. Now when I'm looking at numbers like this I usually just think about money. So it's easier. Right? $2.50 how many quarters are there in two dollars and fifty cents? Well, there's eight quarters in two dollars and another two. So then there's ten quarters in two fifty. All right? And three seventy five, that's a little bit harder. So three dollars, there's twelve quarters plus 3 more, right, for the 75 cents. So 12 plus 3 is 15. So that's 15 25s, basically. So now we ask ourselves, what are these both divisible by? We can see they're both divisible by, I was going to say 2, not 2. They're both divisible by 5. We divide the 10 by 5 and we get a 2. We divide the 15 by 5 and we get a 3. All right. And again, sometimes when you have decimals it's just easier to get rid of them because we we're, it's easier to think about whole numbers than it is to think about decimal numbers. Now we have 120,000 divided by 1,500,000. And when you have numbers like this and you have all these zeros in here, the best approach is just to get to start by getting rid of the zeros. And you you must get rid of them um, top over bottom, all right? So what I mean by that is if you get rid of the one up here, you go there and get rid of that one. You don't just stroke them all off, right? So top, bottom, top, bottom. So just like that. That way you're not going to make a mistake. So another one there, another one there. Now we have 12 over 150. So at this point, what are they both divisible by? We can see that 
Actually, they're both divisible by 2. You can see that, right? So if we divide the uh, 12 by 2, we're going to get a 6. If we divide this by 2, we'll get 75. So we could try that. So let's try divide this by 2. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. All right. And we end up with 6 over 75. And when we're looking at 150, <coughs> it helps to just think about money. A dollar and 50 cents. If we split it in two, that's 75 cents. All right. Now we look at these numbers and we say, okay, 6 I know is divisible by 3, but what, are this, what about this one? 7 plus 5 is 12, so it has to be divisible by 3. And again, think money. 75 cents. Can we divide that into 3? Yeah. That's 3 quarters, right? So, we divide this one by 3. We end up with 2. We divide 75 by 3. We end up with 25. Okay? And that's as far as you can go. This one's only divisible by 2. 25 is not divisible by 2. All right, so that's been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a really good day. Take care.